and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, I'll demonstrate setting up groups, including nested groups, in Fast Report VCL. In another video that you can find in the description, I've shown the basics of creating a report, and I recommend watching it first. So, this is the simple list report from the demo application. If you followed the actions from the previous video, you'll have a report similar to this one. So, let's imagine that we need to group the data in this report. One option is to group the data bands alphabetically, using an expression. So, you can see that the name field is called Customers Company. And if you want to do anything with the name, we should use it. The first step is to add a group header band. Just like any other band, you should add it from this submenu. Then choose Expression, and let's build an expression for alphabetical grouping. We will need the copy function, double-click it or add it by dragging and dropping. As you can see from its description, it takes a string of text and returns a part of it. The string will be the company field, and the other two parameters will be one. So, the function receives the company name, then gives us one character at position one. In other words, the first character. After this, let's drag the band before the data band and preview the report. You can see that the bands are now grouped just like we wanted. Now, let's look at a couple of things we can add to this report. Firstly, you could add a text object to the group header, so it's obvious what the grouping is based on. And in it, we'll use the same function that takes the first character, copy customers company 11. Also, you can add a group footer, which will be displayed every time a group is finished. And in it, we can visit another group of functions, the aggregate functions. Let's input this into the text object count, then in square brackets, count band 4. And the function count will display the count of the data bands in a group. Now let's switch to another report. It's based on a different set of data, and here you can see two group header bands and two group footer bands. Let's delete them and see how the data looks without grouping. It's a list of parts with the ID numbers, names and prices. They are grouped by orders using the order number field. This group header has text fields that are used as labels for the data band fields. And also it has fields for order specific data order number and order date. And also, the group footer has a field that uses an expression to calculate a sum. Just like what we did with the count expression, but for a different purpose. Now let's look at the second couple of the group bands. We've examined how the orders table is displayed and calculated. And this isn't too dissimilar. So, this header is grouping the already existing groups by the customer number field, because a single customer can have multiple orders. And notice that the sum in this group footer is using literally the same expression. The logic is the same, it's going through every data band and accounting a specific field's value into the result. The groups can be nested even further. For example, we can add the same alphabetical grouping that we did before to this report. Let's also enable the Start New Page parameter for this group band. So, now we have a report where parts are grouped into orders, orders are grouped by the customer, then these customers are grouped by their first letter, and the highest order groups are separated from each other. Each group starts on its own page. And that's an example of how you can group data. This was today's lesson on Fast Report VCL. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel, in which we demonstrate Fast Report VCL and our other products in detail. You can find all the playlists in the description.